May 9 is Europe Day. It's a day we remind ourselves of our beginnings. It was all about ending war in Europe 60 years ago. And it started with the Franco-German uh, reconciliation, an offer made by the French, the then French foreign minister for a common market between Germany and France. It enlarged to the six founding members of the European Union. We are now 28, half a billion people. This is a history of uh, success in bringing millions of Europeans towards democracy, providing them with peace, stability, security, and also prosperity. Europe Day is also a moment to remind ourselves of the importance of American support to the European project and overall the importance of the transatlantic uh, relationship. A lot is happening these days in transatlantic ties. Uh, we are actively working towards a new transatlantic trade and investment partnership. We call it TTIP. And it aims at creating jobs and promoting economic growth in the European Union and in the United States. We are also actively engaged in cooperation on foreign policy and security from Ukraine, our relations with Russia, the Middle East, Iran, Africa, Asia. In all segments of our foreign policy work, there is a strong and solid cooperation between uh, the European Union and the, the United States. Uh, but let me say a few more words about TTIP, which is maybe the best illustration of the, how vibrant this relationship is. Uh, TTIP is about removing barriers to trade and investment while keeping very high standards of consumer protection and health protection, environmental concerns. This is about setting the gold standards for what we think the world economy should look like. We believe we have the responsibility to do that as the two most important trading partners in the world, but we also believe it's in our interest to do so, in the interest of our consumers, our workers, our businesses in Europe and the US. So it's a very ambitious, a very ambitious uh, project I'm glad that so many people around this country are discussing it. I've been traveling around the United States, talking to governors, to uh, business, to workers, to consumers, to universities about transatlantic ties, and TTIP is at the center of the attention. So I can only encourage all of you to continue to discuss these issues and contribute to the success of the transatlantic relationship as a whole, and TTIP in particular.